Hi, I'm Phil Constantine, and on this episode of Travels with Phil, we're going to Adobe Falls in San Diego. Going to zoom right in from outer space, and it's right there just off the road from San Diego State University. Yes, indeed. Not something that many people know about. It's literally just across the freeway from Interstate 8. For a variety of reasons, the area is closed to the public. In fact, that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this video, is a lot of people have heard about Adobe Falls and wanted to know what it looked like and then get very frustrated when they go there and find their signs that say no trespassing. This is part of the San Diego State University Alvarado Canyon Ecological Area. And it has uh, been closed to the public with no trespassing signs posted around it for quite a few years. I happened to find this uh, drone video, uh, as far as I know, is legally obtained, and it's uh, list and it's uh, been published in a couple of spots, and it was made available to me. And I've been there uh, many years ago and uh, toured around before the no trespassing signs were posted. So this will give you an idea of what it looks like. Now, this is a very small area. Most people, when you think of San Diego, you don't think of waterfalls. Well, it's a fairly small one. And as you can see here, well, lots of folks and probably related to it being so close to uh, San Diego State, but there's lots and lots and lots of graffiti. The graffiti does flake off and goes down through the stream out to uh, the area between Mission Bay and San Diego Bay and heads right out into the Pacific and obviously that is not a very good thing to happen in an ecological sense. It is a beautiful spot though. It's a nice uh, palm trees that you see out there. It's an ecological area and that's one of the reasons why they've put it off uh, from trespassing, uh, put it out of the public area is to keep people from going back in there and disturbing the area. And also the local residents uh, here are not too keen on folks coming uh, through their backyards to be able to get there. But it is a nice area. Obviously, it would look a lot better if there wasn't been so much uh, graffiti all over the place. But it's a very small waterfall, and it's usually there almost all year long. Uh, it depends on the runoff from Lake Murray and if there's been any rain uh, recently. But as you can see, the folks with the graffiti, they've just painted this place all over. Now, the police will come out there. If they see you out there, you can get cited for trespassing and it's uh, actually not the safest spot in the world to be because it is not designed for people to be out there. So there are no walkways, there are no uh, railings, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, and again, I just want to remind you, this is not trespassing. I'm not trying to set this up so you can go see it and go and go out there and get in the property. And again, it's, uh, when I was there a long time ago, uh, as far as I know, it was still legal to be able to uh, get down there because there were no trespassing signs when I was there. But uh, I give an example of one of the reasons why uh, this is now off limits. Well, because you're on your own. This is what happened. I slipped down on part of the access way to get in there, really tore up my leg. So I hope you enjoyed the pictures, though. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please feel free to make comments below as long as the language is family friendly. And if you like this video, please click on the thumbs up button below. You can also subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the circle with my picture in it in the lower right hand corner of the video. The arrow is pointing at it now. And once you have subscribed, you can be notified of when I have a new video posted by clicking on the bell icon in the description field below the video. Thanks again for watching.